Hey everybody, I'm Joel Wanasek with Drumforge, and today I am super excited to sit here with you and do a deep dive on our brand new product here, the Tom Arsenal. And this is the follow-up to the Snare Arsenal, which we released a couple months ago, and we were just overwhelmed with the amount of amazing feedback we got on the Snare Arsenal. So many producers are just loving it, using it in all their mixes. I mean, I've personally been doing it on literally every single mix that I've done this year has had the Snare Arsenal on it, and the Tom Arsenal as well here. So, very, very excited to break this down for you and show you what you get. So the Tom Arsenal is a very ambitious project. If you're not familiar with the snare arsenal, let me break it down. Basically what we did is we had four different collections of drums and we went to four different recording studios and recorded each collection in its own separate studio. So a total of 23 different Tom sets ranging all the way from five Tom kits down to two Tom kits and everything in between. We did four different rooms. You've got a wood room, which was made out of all wood and just a very nice long character to it. Very lively room. We had a brick room, which is like an all brick room, which has got high ceilings, also very great sounding room. A vibe room, which is like a smaller room that's super punchy, very modern and tight sounding and has a lot of like impact to it. And then a hybrid room, which was kind of like half wood, half concrete and just very, very natural sounding room. Excellent, very versatile. So we've got four different rooms and each room's got a collection, 23 total Tom sets. It's very, very wild. And each one of those Tom sets has totally different engineering setups that allow you to pretty much create any tone very quickly with just a move of a couple of faders. So for example, if you're doing like tech death or you're mixing um, alt rock or, you know, something for hard rock radio or, you know, just like gent or anything, you can find the perfect Tom sound in this. Everything is mixed ready, but not over processed, meaning the samples can take a lot of processing, but they're already processed enough where they're going to cut through a mix, but yet still sound organic. And again, you have total control over the engineering setups, so you can really get a lot of great stuff. It comes with TCI format, so for slight trigger, including presets and stuff for very quick audition so you don't get stuck in being overwhelmed with having too many things to choose from. It's very quick to figure out which tom set you want and which room character you like. And it also has raw unprocessed waves. So if you want to mix it yourself, you can do it however you want. If you don't like the mixing that's included, you have both options and you're not painted into any corners, which is very powerful because again, everybody works differently and we acknowledge that. So let's take a look here when you buy the Tom Arsenal. Here's what you get. You're going to get a folder. Um, you're going to drop it into your trigger samples and you know, you've got four different rooms here and each one of these rooms you'll see are a bunch of presets and each one of these tom sets has the amount of toms that are in it so for example i'm in the wood room here i've got set one i've got four toms and all of these are the different engineering setups now a word about that we didn't sit there and say oh you know this is a u87 with this compressor limiter like no one cares about that right that's not musical instead what we did is we gave the things names each setup like direct body smack splat length Thank you depth, verb, and those names correspond to what the microphone does. So for example, if I go load up a kit here from, scroll down to the hybrid room and I load Tom set one here, you'll see that the engineering setups are different than the wood room, which I have open. And it's cool because they're going to essentially, you know, for example, like you have air, right? Here you have body, here you have air. Every room is built musically and designed to give you the maximum flexibility and optimize the drums that were recorded in that room. Okay, so you get the ability to build and you know you can frank and tom if you want to build you know different directs and things like that or combine different rooms but at the very very basic set you can basically go in like this load a preset and boom you can quickly audition so let's hear what one of these kits sounds like i'm gonna go load wood room here and let's just randomly pick here set five let's hear it So you can hear, you know, what that room sounds like. Okay, now let's go down to like, for example, the vibe room. Let's try that. And I'm just gonna pick a random one. How about set three? Let's just see what this sounds like. So you can see those rooms have a very, very, very different character to them. For example, if I solo this out, let's have a listen. This is also assuming we have moved no faders because each one of these faders has a completely different engineering sound to it. So let's head back to the wood room here. Uh, hold on. And I'm just gonna load up something here from like set one. You can just give you an idea what different rooms sound like. Let's grab something from the brick room and I'm just gonna randomly grab, let's say set three. 
So you very different sounds. That's a little bit more natural. Um, let's head to the hybrid room and just grab like set one. And then you can kind of just quickly hear what each room sounds like. So every room has totally different character. And within that room, you can bend that character to go through and just fit your mix perfectly. And it's very, very fast and easy workflow. And the way that I do it in a mix is I just basically take a Tom performance like this here uh, with the waves. And I will have my assistant when I'm mixing, break it down to MIDI. And uh, we trigger off that because it's super, super easy. And um, I'll just use like a basic virtual instrument. So for example, Groove Agent, it doesn't even matter what you trigger off of. It could be anything. And we'll set the samples to trigger off that. And then it's very easy to go in and adjust, if you need to, the velocities. Hold on, let me find this. I'm probably hiding it on the grid behind. There we are. So you can very quickly go in and... put it wherever you want it. And it's very, very quick to use that in terms of a triggering scenario in a real mix. And it allows you total dynamic control over your fills. So that's how I like to work. And you can hear now we've played three different rooms and all of them had sounded great in this mix. So that is a brief overview of the Tom Arsenal and what's in it and what you get. Now let's move on to go and taking a look at each individual room so you can get a vibe and an idea for what they sound like and how they're unique and special. The first room we're going to take a look at here in the Tom Arsenal is the wood room. And the wood room is really cool because it's a very long room made completely out of wood from the floor to the walls to the ceilings. And it's just got a really great live vibrant sound. And we recorded the most Tom sets in this because we just had a very large collection. So we had eight different sets. And you can see here we got one uh, five time kit. We got another five time kit. And I believe, yep, three five time kits. Uh, we have a four Tom, uh, two four Toms. One three tom, two three toms, and a two tom kit, which is super, super versatile. So you can, again, you can take this in from anything from like death metal all the way down to rock music, and it's pretty cool. So these sets are very punchy sounding. They have a lot of character to them. The toms don't have a ton of ring to them based off the way they were tacked in this room. They're designed to not be like doom and ring out forever, but more like doom. You know, they have just a nice, tight, punchy sound to them. And it's a really, really, really great sound. Again, that's extremely versatile versatile. These really excel in like heavy genres, but I don't want to pigeonhole them and say that like, oh, everything in the wood room is for death metal or something like that because it's not accurate. You can use these in anything. I mean, I literally used this on an active rock mix last week with one of these sets of toms here from the wood room. So these toms sound great. They're punchy. They have a nice body to them and a lot of different engineering options. So let's hear just a basic like alt rock loop with these toms in them and have a listen. Okay, let's take a look here at some of the engineering setups. And I'm just going to solo the floor tom here. And you can see we've got a lot of different mic options. So let's turn all these faders down and just kind of talk about each one. Starting off with the direct. So the direct is obviously a direct mic and it's very punchy. All right, next you have body. That adds weight to the direct. So it's, all, it's almost like having individual control over your sub. Uh, the next we've got smack, which is exactly like it sounds like. I think it's a punchy overhead if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's hard to remember because there's so many different mics in so many different rooms. So it adds a nice tight smack to it, a little bit of air and a lot of punch making the tom sound very natural. Now we have a splat. A little bit of a longer, more balanced room sound. It's got a splatty characteristic to it. Next we have a length. And that's just great for adding ambience. And then depth. which is an absolutely massive sounding room. And then finally we have reverb. And 
that's a really bright sound. And again, I don't want to go and say these are metal toms, but for something like metal where you've got really fast rolls and things like that, like this reverb is really dialed in for like that type of sound. So with these faders here, you can create all types of different sounds here and it's pretty cool. So for example, if we want to find the right mix of body, let's get some smack. Make it splatty. Maybe like maybe less smack. Drier sound. Get rid of the smack. Let's try some length. So now we went from like a more aggressive sound to something that's a little bit more indie and that's got some more vibe to it. Again, let's switch the faders. Very scooped and punchy. Let's add some length. Try depth. Pretty epic. Some verb. We get a little depth. So that's a pretty aggressive sound. I would definitely use something like that in a heavy genre. Now, if we bring the faders down, let's bring that smack back in and try to get something more natural. Now let's try a little bit of length. So you can totally color the tom to fit whatever style of mixing you are and just very quickly come up with something that's nice and easy and get a good sound. Next, let's take a look at just a couple, let's click through a couple other kits here and just to give you an idea of some of the sounds. I'm just gonna randomly click here, uh, like here's set one. Let's go set two and I'm just randomly grabbing toms. Set three. Set five, which we actually, let's skip to six. So we've already heard set five. You can see there's a nice variety here. Set seven. And set eight. So there you have it. That is the wood room. Now we're going to move on to the brick room. Okay, so I have the brick room open in front of us here. And let's just listen to that same loop now with those samples loaded. So you can hear the brick room sounds a lot different than the wood room. And it's cool because these have a very natural sound to them, but don't be dissuaded. Like these can really crush it in a heavy mix if you're into that kind of genre, as well as something a little bit softer. But these do have a nice natural quality to them while yet still retaining a lot of punch. The engineering setups are different. So we've got direct body, smack, splat, length, and depth. Okay, let's take a look at this and uh, hear what a floor tom sounds like, and hear some of the engineering setups. And I should mention the brick room is a little bit smaller than the wood room. It's got really high ceiling, so it's got a different type of ambience to it, and it's more of like a square as opposed to a rectangle, if that makes sense. So it's a pretty cool sounding room. Here's what the direct sounds like. So that's a little bit more natural. Now body is gonna be similar. Can you hear how much energy in the bottom end that adds, it just thickens it up. Next, we've got a smack mic, which is very natural sounding. Can really bring a lot of those overtones into the tom and the rect. And between these two mics, you could get a very natural or a very modern sounding tom, depending on what you think sounds good. Splat is a mid-size room. You can hear how the decay isn't quite as long on this room as it was on the wood room, but it's still a nice amount of ambience. Next, we have length. 
What's cool is this room sounds a little bit more mono. Can really add a nice length to the tom, and then we have the depth. It's got a very dry sound to it and a very epic sound. It's a mic very, very far away, probably in one of the corners of the room or something like that. And it just has a massive ambience to it to just add that kind of depth that you need when you want some ambience. So let's play around with these faders a little bit. So that's something that sounds really natural. Now let's make it bigger. So you have a lot of control over the ambience. Now let's make something a little bit punchier and more aggressive. So there you go. Now let's hear some of the other kits here. So here's what we got. So that's two. I'm just going to grab the three here randomly. Probably should throw them in context with the drum set that I've got loaded. Let's hear set three. And four. So you can see we have a variety of tunings, a variety of different textures, a variety of different tones, and a variety of different ambiences, which give the brick room a very distinct character and flavor versus the wood room. And again, depending on what your needs are for your mix, you'll be able to find the right balance. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the vibe room. I've got the vibe room loaded up. Let's take a listen to this in action. So you can hear the vibe room in contrast to the wood room and the brick room has a totally different sound. And the vibe room is cool because like the wood room, it's very much on like the punchy aggressive side and modern side and a little bit less on the natural side. So again, more tonal flexibility and options for your mixes in different colors. And again, if you think something's mixed too natural, obviously you can throw some EQ on it, throw into a bus compressor and bring a lot of smack and aggression and energy. A little bit of transient designer is also very, very good to make these things sound more aggressive. So you can get extremely aggressive of sounds out of these drums that are on the more natural side, like the brick room, if you want to, or you can dial it back. So you've got full control over this stuff and it's very easy to mix with. Okay, so the vibe room is a really cool room because the vibe room is a lot smaller than the other rooms. This is a small room, but don't mistake small as being bad. It's small, but it packs a lot of punch. It's got a very punchy sound to it and it cuts very well through the mixes and the type of gear that was in this studio was very punchy and just led itself to something that's very, very very modern. So it's got a bit of a hype sound, I think, which is pretty cool. And it's a nice tonal contrast. So if we head over to the vibe room, we have the least amount of sets were available to record in this room. We have three different sets. We've got a three, uh, two, three times, another set of three and a set of two. And we have one, two, three, four, five engineering setups. So we got a direct smack, a spread, a depth, and a length. Now what's cool is when we go through this, you're going to hear that these microphones kind of change a little bit versus some of the other ones. So let's hear the direct. Can you hear how much smack that's got on it? So let's bring in the smack mic. So that's a very tight, direct overhead. You can hear the size of the room. Which is cool because you can get a very tight sound and you can't quite get as tight with any other tom set in this tom arsenal. So let's hear some spread now. And that's a little bit farther back in that room, but still it's not massive sounding, but it's got just enough size to come up with really cool tone, contrast to the smack. So you can really get a lot of tone out of the drum there. Okay, let's take a look at the depth. And 
And I think this is one of those microphone in the other room smashed into a vintage compressor kind of thing vibes where the microphone is like down a hallway or like in the bathroom or something just annihilated. And it kind of just gives it a nice ambience. And then we have a length. which is probably cranked through like a really expensive hardware reverb and very, very far away. And it's, again, a very, very nice tonal change. So you can see there's a lot of options here. We get the smack, the spread, the depth, the length, and we can very quickly change this from like very direct. And tight, but just enough ambience to something that's a little bit more epic sounding and anything in between. All right, so back in context here of our mix. Let me just reset this. Here's what sat one sounds like. Set two. And you've already heard set three. So that's the vibe room in a nutshell. Now we're gonna take a look at the hybrid room. All right, let's hear the hybrid room in action. The hybrid room is really cool because like I said earlier, it's a mixture of wood and a mixture of concrete, but it also has a lot of baffling and really high ceilings. And the vibe room is not quite as natural sounding in this case as the brick room, but it definitely has a lot of natural characteristics that are gonna lead to a ton of versatility in your mixes. So we have um, some different engineering options here. We have direct, we have an air mic, which is really cool. Uh, a tight smack, length, depth, and verb. So let's just listen to this floor tom and audition some of these microphones. Again, what I really like about the hybrid room is just this is probably the most versatile room, in my opinion, in the whole tom arsenal. So you can hear the direct is very non-cranked, meaning that it's like not super aggressive as, for example, like the wood room has a lot of aggression and smack to it. This is a little bit more natural sounding. And I just love this air mic because this is actually the Tom close mic'd, but three feet up in the air with condenser microphone and it's mixed. So it kind of brings in some just air to it. It kind of makes the Tom sound even more natural. Check it out. It just makes you feel like you're standing next to the drum instead of putting your ear right next to it. So it's a really, really cool tone. All right, next we got tight. Very natural sounding overhead. Just a little bit of ambience. Smack. That's a more aggressive sounding overhead if I remember correctly. And I like it because it's a lot wider than the tight. Uh, it's definitely got some hit to it. So you can kind of take it more in like the heavy metal direction. Whereas if we're like this, That's a cool tom sound for something that's maybe like on the alt rock side or a little bit lighter where, you know, again, you bring up the smack. But now we're sitting there in something that could be used in a metal mix. Okay, the length. Very epic and the depth. Different type of room and the verb. A lot drier. This is kind of cool because this verb is, if I remember correctly, is like one of those non-linear types that you can automate up during tom fills and your songs, like a CLA inspired kind of mix move. And I just love this sound because it's very slap backy and it just sounds awesome in context if you use it correctly. So let's dial this in a little bit. That sounds great, very aggressive. Let's bring this down, make this a little bit more um, natural sounding. A nice long decay. You 
and hear that reverb is just pretty, it's got a pretty cool effect to it. There you go. That's what that sounds like. And let's just quickly cycle through some of these presets here so you can get a vibe here. Um, that's set one, here's set two. And we have a three, two three tom sets and a bunch of two toms in this one. Here's set three. You can hear there's some real versatility in these kits. We had a lot of really cool kits in this room. Set five. Probably help if I clicked uh, not both on the high toms. That's, that set's a little bit brighter and tighter. So that, you know, again, just because one set might sound more natural, you can make it less natural by how you mix it where something like that set we just listened to is a little bit more aggressive and punchy sounding. And you can kind of take that sound and make it even more aggressive. You know what I mean? So you have a whole range of colors that you can choose from when you're mixing, which I think is just amazing creatively. And finally, set seven. And of course, when you're mixing, you can mix and match any of these. So you could use different directs. You can pitch them. You can tune them. You can use different ambiences from different rooms. Like you might want the aggressive punch of a direct from the wood room, but you might want the natural room sound from the brick room. And maybe you want some of the air from the hybrid room. I mean, the choices are endless. It's insanely powerful. The Tom Arsenal from Drum Forge is one of the most powerful creative tools ever built for drum mixing. It's super fast, super easy to use, allows you to get pretty much any sound you can think of. And if you actually need to process it further, you can very quickly, very easy. And it's just such a fun thing to have as a mixer at your disposal for working on music, because where else can you go and find a drum pack that has been recorded in four different studios with all of these different engineering setups? It's just unprecedented. And again, the snare arsenal was just such a smash. I can't believe that anybody that loves the snare arsenal is not going to love the tom arsenal because they're built for each other literally so check out the tom arsenal over at drumforge.com happy mixing everybody and i hope you enjoy using this as much as we do thank you mm -hmm.